Hello everyone, today we are going to solve this 95 number problem. It was asked in CSIR net June 2018. Look at carefully that they have given us a system of linear differential equation and the critical point of that system is given to us as 00. zero. Depending upon this data, they are asking what is the nature of that critical point. This system of linear differential equation is given to us and 0, 0 is given as critical point of this system. But you should know that 0, 0 is always a critical point of a given autonomous system. This is actually an autonomous system where your x and y are dependent variable and t is the only independent variable. So how to tackle this kind of problems? So for that purpose you just simply write dx dt is equal to some function f x y similarly dy dt is equal to function g f x y fine these two things we have in our hand look at here 0 0 is given as critical point but suppose they are not providing us the critical point 0 0 in that case simply make dx dt is equal to 0 and dy dt is equal to 0 and then you will have two equations and solve them you will get the critical points but in this problem we don't need to do all these things we just they have only asked about the nature of this critical point so for that purpose you need to construct a matrix which is called jacobian matrix corresponding to this autonomous Jacobian matrix is something like this kind of thing fx fy here gx gy at 0 0 you have to find out so what will be your fx fx is actually your 2 fy is 7 gx 3 and minus 8 so this is the jacobian matrix we are having at 0 0 fine the next step is to find out the eigenvalue of this matrix so what will be the eigenvalue actually one eigenvalue it is clearly visible that it is minus 5 rho sum isn't it and another eigenvalue will be minus 5 plus lambda is equal to you are having the trace is equal to minus 6 so it will be lambda is equal to minus 1 fine so minus 1 and minus 5 these are two eigenvalues we are having of this autonomous system now we need to know whenever we are getting two eigenvalues of this kind of system and if they are belonging from r and both of them are positive in that case that critical point that means here we are considering 0 0 that critical point is your unstable node if both of them less than 0 in that case it will be stable node fine if their product that means one of them is positive and another one is negative if their product is less than 0 in that case that will lead to saddle point these things we have to know but uh, if lambda 1 and lambda 2 belonging from c that means complex number if lambda 1 and lambda 2 the eigenvalues we are getting if they are in complex number then we have to use a different kind of treatment similar kind of table we can construct from that point of view so here what we are getting is lambda 1 and lambda 2 less than 0 both of them are less than 0 so this is our case that means it will be stable node in our option look at the options carefully only first option says that asymptotically stable node so it is going to be correct one and rest of the three options look at unstable node obviously false because unstable for that unstable purpose you need to have both of them greater than zero third says that stable spiral stable spiral it will 
be not because we have it is not spiral is a different case so third option is also false although it is saying that stable part but it is spiral not node and the fourth option says that unstable spiral obviously it will be false so first option is your correct one